Compound effects are effects that need a control layer. They use the control layer's luma, chroma, or alpha information to apply the effect. So let's see what this is all about. Go to your project panel and let's import a couple of clips. This time let's use the shortcut control or command I. And let's import the clips C-plane 1 and smoke. Remember to select two non-adjacent clips. Go ahead and click on one, press and hold control or command and click on the other one. And click on open. And let's place both of these in a composition. And let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and select the C-plane 1 layer. Let's go to the Effects and Presets panel and type in the word Gradient. And W, there you go, Gradient Wipe. Let's apply the Gradient Wipe to the cplane.mov layer. Now let's shorten this composition to about 6 seconds or so. Place the CTI where you need it, press the letter N, right-click the work area bar, and choose Trim Comp to Work Area. The first thing that we need to see is, under the Effect Controls panel, we're going to see the gradient wipe. Compound effects are reflective when it comes to the control layer, so the gradient layer that they choose will always be the layer that they happen to be applied onto. So almost always we need to change this. So, Gradient Layer, it says cplane1.mov, go ahead and click there and choose Smoke. This is not going to change anything because we haven't adjusted the effect. Let's go ahead and watch what the Smoke layer is all about. So, make the cplane layer invisible by clicking on its eye icon and let's scrub the timeline. This is what we want to do. We want for the Smoke to bring in the C-plane layer so that it looks almost like a transition. So at this point, the smoke should have brought in a good part of the plane layer. So let's just leave the CTI right there and let's make the C-plane layer visible again. Scrub the transition completion number until it looks correct. Something like that. And now the transition softness as well. Let's give it a little bit higher number, actually. And that's about it. Press 0 on your numeric keypad to preview. And as you can see, the smoke layer does bring in the plane layer. The good thing about this is that the smoke layer doesn't even need to be visible. So if I go ahead and click on the eye icon for the smoke layer, what I have here is transparency. So I can actually key this on top of anything. I can use it for a transition so that I can go from the plane to another plane or whatever I need to. Most of these effects will give you a gradient placement. In other words, they can stretch the control layer to fit they can center it or tile it. Stretching it to fit means that the effect will temporarily resize the control layer to the dimensions of the layer that has the effect. If this is not selected, the native size of the control layer will be selected. Centering it will just place it on the center and tile will just multiply it in case it's not large enough. You can invert the gradient, so what is black becomes white and what's white becomes black. What is black is usually transparent and what's white is usually opaque. Think of it as layer masks in Photoshop. To this, let's go ahead and add a different compound effect. In this case, the displacement map. So let's go ahead to the Effects and Presets panel and just type in the word displacement. And there it is. Apply the displacement map effect to the C-plane layer. 
What this effect does is that it grabs red and green or blue or alpha or luma information of the control layer to displace the pixels. Go ahead and change the displacement map layer. In other words, make the control layer be the smoke. And let me go ahead and shut off this uh, transparency grid. And let's RAM preview it. Zero on your numeric keypad. As you can see, the pixels of the plane are being distorted by the information on the smoke layer. Let's go ahead and bring a couple more clips into the project. Navigate to your project panel, Control or Command I, and let's bring in the clip called Doggy and Doggy Gradient. Go ahead and click on Open and drag these to the new comp icon. And just click OK. It'll make it two seconds, but that's fine. What we have is a very funny looking doggy gradient layer, which I made in Photoshop, and the picture of the doggy. Let's go ahead and make the doggy gradient layer invisible and apply the displacement map effect to doggy.jpg. Make the control layer the doggy gradient, and this is what happens if you just slightly keyframe these numbers. Let me just make this a little bit larger so we can see it. If we just slightly, very, very little, just keyframe these values, a still picture will almost look like it's in 3D. And the dog is nodding, no, no, don't take me to the vet. Or yes, I want that treat. Very, very cool effect.